Hey everybody, it's Jay Rodriguez, AKA the Concierge of Cool. All right, so here's the deal. Many moons ago, I started on a show called Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Now it's back with an incredible new cast of five guys. Um, Karamo Brown is killing it in the culture category, the role that I played a million years ago on the Bravo version of the show. Now when I did the show on Bravo, it was a network show, so it was owned by NBC, and we had a lot of rules and regulations that we had to abide by, for instance. It was always strongly encouraged that for the culture category, there was tangible, tactile things that read for camera. So a lot of emotional talk or um, things that didn't have uh, a visual before and after were discouraged. Um, now with Karamo's therapeutic background, he's brought this new essence to the show that I just love. But um, I personally miss, uh, the one thing I miss on the show was getting to introduce these guys to new fun ways to improve their lives with gadgets or tech, kind of you, but better. And, uh, and that was one of the fun things that I, I miss most about Queer Eye. So I've created this Instagram account and YouTube channel and titled it The Concierge of Cool because somewhere along the way when I was doing Queer Eye the first time it was on the air, it was a nickname that was sort of bestowed upon me, The Concierge of Cool. So if life is our hotel, I'm the dude who can help you figure out and navigate what the coolest way to live that life would be um, and to infuse your life with kind of really fun toys, gadgets, uh, recipes, basically anything within your lifestyle that could be enhanced. I was sort of, uh, sort of targeted with that job. And at 23, let me tell you, it was really not so easy. I definitely uh, struggled for a long time the first season to find my way, but by second season, I kind of dug in and, and figured out ways to make the role my own. That being said, uh, there's a couple things uh, that I that I want to start doing. One, via social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, you guys have been asking me for more content or making comments like, I really want to see you back on TV. And although I'm frequently a guest star on a bunch of scripted shows, it's tricky to make sure that everybody knows when those shows are on. It's like, you gotta catch the algorithm of when you see my posts or when you don't. And, uh, and so it's been really hard to navigate, but creating my own YouTube account or channel allows me to, in real time, keep you up to speed on everything that's going on with my life. So this channel will be just that. It'll be a little bit of lifestyle and a little bit of all the things that you guys will kind of dictate what you want to know about what's going on with me in my life. So um, a little bit about this past couple months. Um, it's been kind of a whirlwind. Uh, did, did a pilot for ABC this year, did not get picked up, did not is not going to series, which is a total bummer, um, which kind of means I'm a free agent again. So I'm like auditioning all the time, but it's also Pride Month. Uh, the month of June is kind of notoriously Pride Month. And sure, there are other prides like San Diego, which happens in July and Palm Springs, which happens in the fall. And October 20th, I believe is uh, Honolulu Gay Pride, which I'll be appearing at and seeing there. So. June, the month of June. It's also coincidentally my birthday. So I've always, being from New York, celebrated Pride and my birthday right around the same time. But now that I live in Los Angeles, Los Angeles Pride always falls at the same time as Key West Pride. Now many of you saw that I was in Key West celebrating with Stoli. Stoli does this great bartender competition called the Stoli Key West Cocktail Classic, where a bartender from their city who represents the brand well and makes a great cocktail and also represents the essence of why you want to go back to a bar, a bartender that makes a great drink, a bartender that's fun to talk to. Um, and we go to 14 different cities in the US and Canada and find those kind of bartenders, bring them down to Key West to compete in this sort of bartender off. And at the end of the day, that bartender wins $10,000 for their favorite charity, um, 5,000 for their favorite LGBT charity back home, 5,000 for a local charity in Key West that's also LGBTQIA related. Um, so, uh, so it was a great time, but unfortunately I missed Key West Pride because I flew to Orlando for the most epic, epic night ever. Um, it was at a place called The Abbey uh, for a organization called The Drew Project. Now James Vaughn, who everyone knows is an entertainment news reporter, um, he was the MC as well as his boyfriend, Jonathan Bennett, who you know from the movie Mean Girls. He was Aaron Samuels. Now I've known Jonathan for probably about 20 years and James has been a, a good friend of mine and it's kind of great to see them together. But The Drew Project, 
they created this organization shortly after the Orlando massacre. Um, one of their friends, Drew, was uh, unfortunately killed that night, and they decided that they wanted his legacy to go on forever. So they created created an LGBT scholarship fund where they basically give 20 scholarships away a year to LGBTQIA youth and uh, it was awesome to be a part of it. So basically my job was just to come in, hang out with people at the party and then sing, like do like a mini concert. And at that mini concert, Jonathan Bennett sang Light My Candle With Me. I of course played Mimi because it was a role I wanted to play. But um, if you don't know this, my first job ever was in Rent on Broadway when I was 18. Hold on, I have a picture of me. It's actually a billboard. The first time I was ever in drag, hold on, it's right over here. Okay, it's probably so dusty, but this is what was outside the theater, um, if you could make it out. Oh, you can see my ring light. That's me as Angel at 18 years old. What? What is happening? Baby. Anyway, so I played that role for about five years, and then, uh, did an off-Broadway show called Xanadote, and then Queer Eye came along, and here we are. So anyway, there I was. I missed Key West Pride to do this great um, concert for the Drew Project, uh, which I already told you about. And uh, so no, Orla no Key West Pride, no LA Pride, because at the same time, and no New York Pride. So here I am, Prideless. But I'm going to be emceeing the main stage Saturday and Sunday, um, the 14th and 15th of July, I believe, in San Diego. So if you live in San Diego, come out and have some prideage with me. I think TLC is performing, JoJo, it's gonna be insane. But it has been incredible kind of read all these posts on social media, um, both from LGBTQIA folk, but also our straight allies, and so many that we have right now. It's so important, especially in this climate where we're at, where everything seems so divisive and you know, we are all a little fearful of losing many of the rights that we worked so hard to get. Um, and it's encouraging, even brands that I didn't even know were huge LGBT um, uh, people who supported us for a long time, our allies and such. One that really shocked me, I got a call from my agent and uh, she said, hey, uh, so Under Armour wants to send you some clothes. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, and so I get in the mail this box and it says, United, we win with the Under Armour logo. And then I open it up and inside is the most dope pair of running sneakers with the rainbow flag on them. Like they are so, I don't even know what to do with myself. Like I haven't even worn them yet because I don't want to get them dirty. I think they're so cool. Oh, and on the inside, check this, it says all means all. Come on, Under Armour. I don't even know if they sell these or they sell, oh, here's it in bigger font. All means all. Um, equality for all people. Um, I don't know if they sell these or not or if they just are limited on a little capsule collection or whatever. I hope they sell them because we should all rock them. But um, anyway, this is my first attempt of making a YouTube video for this channel. In the future, there'll be recipes to fun cocktails. I'll try to mix it up and make it super fun and kind of give you a taste of everything that's been going on with me. Also, I had a birthday. I'm 39 years old now. Yeah, this is the shape of it. 39, isn't that crazy? So crazy. But um, yeah, in short, I kind of miss telling you guys about new, fun, cool, clever things that I've stumbled upon. So I'm gonna do that on my, on my YouTube channel, which is also linked to the Concierge of Cool Instagram page. So you can go ahead and like those. The links will be at the bottom. Um, one more thing. Okay, so on Queer Eye, when I did it, I was always like giving the guy theater tickets. Try to, the emphasis was strongly like culture, 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 culture. I love that I'm so new at this that I actually clicked like the off button for the video. Okay, so yes, so the emphasis was like culturize the guy, make him cooler, make him more of a, you know, a renaissance man. And so it was always like etiquette. I was basically the Puerto Rican Emily Post. I'm so glad that Karamo doesn't have to focus all his energy on that because I love the way he's doing it. However, I'm going to recommend you a great book to read for summer. It's really light. I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought the audible version because it's read by the author. Now it's by my dear friend Retta. Now many of you know her from like Parks and Rec and stuff. She's a great actress. She's been in a bunch of movies and she's been a longtime stand-up actress. The book is called So Close to Being the Shit Y'all Don't Even Know. And I just think it's a hilarious title. Anyway, if you see that this is the front cover. 
beautiful Retta and her gorgeous gown, and then typical com comedian that she is, there's all the clips keeping the gown together. I don't know if you've ever been on a professional photo shoot, but when I was on Queer Eye, they would give me sample sizes, and I was a twink, and I couldn't fit the samples, so in a lot of the photo shoots, I was pinned in the back for filth, so I related to this picture. It is one of the funniest reads I have ever read in a long time. It is also a nice window into entertainment and how how cr she really removes the veneer and takes you behind the curtain. It is one of those feel good books. Now granted there is some profanity so this is not for like, don't play this in the car with like your four year old. Um, but it is so good. I strongly encourage, this is a great summertime read. It's light, it's fun. Uh, it will make you love Reddit even more than you probably already do. Uh, all right, so let's see if I can edit these two videos together and make them one video. That'll be huge for me. Um, I'm signing off right now. But in the line of, uh, in, the, in the words of Ellen DeGeneres, it is Pride season, so let's all try to be kind to one another, no matter where we stand on the spectrum, gay, straight, bi, trans, asexual, whatever. Um, this month is a month to celebrate who you are and the fullness that is you. Um, so be kind to each other. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I promise there'll be more fun, kitschy, cool, and informative content coming. This is my first attempt, so um, it's a little raw, it's a little homemade, but I wanted to get something out there for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. I had a good time chatting with you, and I will see you guys soon. Oh, wait, now I have to shut you off. Okay, here I go.